Greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 11 and verse 16. If the part of the dove offered as first fruits is holy, then the whole batch is holy. If the root is holy, so are the branches. Here Apostle Paul is uh, uh, talking about the, uh, you know, how easily the Israelites can be brought back. And he continues to uh, make this uh, presentation or he continues to present his case that it's very easy for the Israelites to come back because they already know everything. And, you know, everything is new for somebody as a Gentile to come to the Lord because that's not the way of life that their nation follows. That's not the uh, law in which they have been raised up. They are not being uh, into the environments of the law and sacrifices. Those are some things that they can only read and they can learn, but they, they generally don't see these things. Whereas an, an Israelite, is from the biblical background. He, he is the man who carries the blood from the people of the Bible. And so uh, Apostle Paul says, if uh, part of the duff is offered as first fruits, then obviously the whole batch is holy. So in other words, he's talking about the Israelites in, in, in two ways. One thing is that Christ came from them and he also died for them. So salvation is readily available in Christ. It's the same Christ, same gospel. There's nothing much that they did, that they have a greater preference in the gospel. No, it's, it's all about Christ and the gospel. Then he says that these people who have been so religious, who have been, uh, you know, at one point of time, the patriarchs, they, they were so given into the Lord, so standing on the mercy of the Lord. They were so fulfilling the heart's desire of the Lord. Once upon a time, they were such kind of people and these people have come from them. So if the first fruits were, that were offered were holy, obviously. So, they have something already with them. The only thing that was standing in the gap was they trusted their own righteousness. The moment they understood that and if they they came out of the, of the trust on their own self, that's all. The already gushed holiness or the, the plan of God that has been that has been being fulfilled in all the all of Israel, in the ancient ancestors of the Israelites will immediately come unto them. Only hindrance that was standing was their self-righteousness. So, Apostle Paul was telling, you know, everything is, the, the stage is set, the holiness of God is near us, the root is holy, so are the branches. He says, the only hindrance, the only hindrance is, the moment these people's eyes are open to the gospel, they come out of self-righteousness, already the stage is set. They are in. So, they are considered holy as a nation because of what their forefathers did. That didn't give them salvation. They have to come to Christ because he's the only source of salvation. So they have a beautiful past, a very, very easily adaptable thing to the prepared salvation of the Lord. Because that was what the Old Testament is all about. And they came through the Old Testament. They, were, they are ready to be accepted very easily than a Gentile. But the only hindrance is self-righteousness. And if that was broken, stage was set, everything would usher in, they would be saved. Loving, living, gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for the Israelites that everything is set for them. They know everything, but they, their eyes just need to be opened by you. We pray for the self-righteous, religious people around us. We pray that the stage is set, your grace is there, open their eyes. May they see the cross so powerfully sufficient that they might kick to the ground 
their own self-righteousness and understand they don't need anything from their side to justify themselves. Jesus' wonderful, precious name we pray. Amen.